You've heard the hype. Commercials swear by it. Mechanics push it. But is synthetic oil really better for your engine? Or is it just an expensive gimmick wrapped in slick marketing? Here's the truth. If you're still using conventional oil in 2024, your engine could be suffering and you'd never even know it. Stick around because what we're about to reveal may just save your engine from an early death and your wallet from a $4,000 rebuild. One, what is synthetic oil? Really? Let's start with the basics. Synthetic oil isn't just refined more than conventional oil. It's engineered molecule by molecule in a lab. That means it's pure, more consistent, and built for performance from the ground up. Where conventional oil is derived straight from crude oil with minimal refining, synthetic oil is often made using a complex chemical process called polymerization. The result, far fewer impurities and a molecular structure that holds up better under stress. The biggest takeaway? It's not just marketing fluff. Synthetic oil is designed to last longer, protect better, and perform under extreme conditions. The science backs it. Two, the temperature factor. Why heat and cold matter? Here's something they don't explain at the quick lube shop. One of the biggest advantages of synthetic oil is its superior performance at temperature extremes. In freezing temperatures, synthetic flows faster, protecting engine parts during cold starts. And during scorching summer heat or heavy-duty driving, synthetic oil resists breakdown better than conventional oil. High mileage cars, towing, racing. Synthetic is a no-brainer in these cases. According to testing from Mobile One and Pennzoil, synthetic oil maintains viscosity up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's critical for turbocharged engines or those stuck in stop-and-go traffic. 3. Sludge Resistance – The Hidden Killer Engine sludge is the gunk that builds up inside your engine when oil breaks down and oxidizes. Over time, it chokes your engine's oil passages and reduces performance. Conventional oil, with more impurities, is more prone to sludge buildup. Synthetic oils are engineered to resist breakdown and deposit formation. According to a study from the American Petroleum Institute, API, engines using synthetic oil had 85% less sludge accumulation after 100,000 miles. If you're driving an older vehicle, or one with a known sludge issue, switching to synthetic could mean the difference between a clean running engine and a $2,000 teardown. 4. Fuel Efficiency – Does it really help? Here's a hidden benefit. Synthetic oil can improve your fuel economy, not dramatically, but enough to matter over time. Because it flows better and reduces friction more effectively, your engine doesn't have to work as hard. That translates to improved MPG, especially on highway drives. According to independent testing, switching to synthetic oil can improve fuel economy by 2-3%. to That may not sound like much, but over 100,000 miles, that's hundreds of dollars saved. Think about it. You're paying a little more upfront for oil that pays you back over time. That's a win-win. 5. Engine Longevity – The Real Payoff Want your engine to last 250,000 miles? Synthetic oil gives you the best shot. Its superior protection means less wear on moving parts, especially during startup, which is when most engine wear occurs. High mileage engines with tight tolerances need oil that doesn't thin out under heat or shear apart under stress. Synthetic oil holds its structure longer, meaning you get more consistent protection for more miles. In a study by the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence, ASE, engines lubricated with synthetic oil lasted up to 30% longer under identical stress conditions. That could be the difference between a car that dies at 180,000 miles and one that runs past 300,000. 6. Cost Breakdown Is it really worth it? Yes, synthetic oil is more expensive. A typical oil change may run $70 to $90 versus $40 to $50 for conventional. But let's do the math. Synthetic oil lasts longer, up to 10,000 miles between changes. That means fewer oil changes over the life of your car. Fewer changes plus better fuel efficiency plus fewer engine repairs equals real savings. According to Consumer Reports, the long-term cost of synthetic oil is often lower than conventional when factoring in all benefits. So while you're spending more up front, you're saving thousands in the long run. It's an investment, not an expense. 7. Not all synthetics are equal. Beware the blends. Now here's where it gets tricky. Not every synthetic oil is 100% lab created. Some are synthetic blends, part conventional, part synthetic. They're cheaper, yes, but also less effective. You don't get the full benefits of true synthetic oil. 
Look for labels like Full Synthetic or 100% Synthetic from reputable brands like Mobile One, Castrol Edge, or Valvoline Advanced. If the bottle says Synthetic Blend, know that it's a compromise. 8. The Manufacturer Myth Do they require synthetic? Many drivers assume synthetic oil is only for luxury or high-performance cars. Wrong. Today, over 70% of new vehicles recommend or require synthetic oil, including models from Toyota, Honda, Ford, and Chevy. Why? Because modern engines are built with tighter tolerances and often use turbochargers, direct injection, and smaller displacement, all of which demand better lubrication. Check your owner's manual. If it says 0W20, odds are your engine was designed for synthetic from day one. 9. Turbocharged engines, a must-have. If your car has a turbo, synthetic oil isn't optional. It's essential. Turbochargers spin up to 200,000 RPM and operate under extreme heat. Conventional oil simply can't protect at those levels. Failure to use synthetic oil in a turbo engine can lead to coking, where oil burns and hardens on the turbo shaft. That kills your turbo fast. And replacing a turbo? $1,500 to $3,000. Synthetic oil protects against this by maintaining its viscosity and resisting heat-induced breakdown. 10. Older engines. Will it hurt them? A common myth says synthetic oil causes leaks in older engines. This comes from early formulas that used aggressive detergents. Today's synthetic oils are fully compatible with older engines, especially high-mileage formulas designed with seal conditioners. In fact, they may reduce leaks by softening old seals and gaskets. If you're switching from conventional to synthetic, monitor your oil level for the first few thousand miles. But don't fear it. For most high-mileage cars, synthetic oil is the upgrade they deserve. 11. DIYers Beware, the filter matters, too. If you're changing your own oil, don't just grab the cheapest filter. Synthetic oil flows differently and often longer. Cheap filters may clog or degrade before the next oil change, putting your engine at risk. Use high-quality filters like Bosch, Fram Ultra, or OEM brands rated for synthetic oil use. 12. The warranty question, can it void it? Some worry that using synthetic oil outside of dealer service may void their warranty. Not true. Thanks to the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, you're allowed to use any oil that meets manufacturer specs, synthetic included. Just keep records and receipts of oil changes, especially if you DIY. 13. The bottom line. Should you use it? If your car is newer, high mileage, turbocharged, or you live in extreme climates, yes. Absolutely. Synthetic oil provides superior protection, better performance, and long-term cost savings. Even if you drive a simple commuter, switching to synthetic means less wear, fewer breakdowns, and more peace of mind. Ask any veteran mechanic. Clean, high-quality oil is the single biggest factor in engine longevity, and nothing does it better than synthetic. Still think synthetic oil is just a gimmick? The facts say otherwise. From cold starts to summer heat, turbo boost to traffic jams, synthetic oil protects like nothing else. So the next time you're due for an oil change, ask yourself, are you saving $20 now to spend $2,000 later? Drop a comment if you've made the switch and hit that. Like if this video just saved your engine. Stay smart, stay smooth, and drive like your engine depends on it, because it does.